Hey, fellow babies. Welcome back to Pactor Factor on Sifted.net. Uh, we are very pleased if you're a Patreon patron and thank you for your support. If you uh, have an Amazon Prime account, you can sign up for a Twitch Prime account and link the two. It will cost you nothing and Amazon slash Twitch will pay us something. So you can support us just by linking those two accounts. The instructions are in the show description below. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can subscribe on YouTube and get the show real time. If you aren't an Amazon Prime member and you just can't uh, deal with funding this show, you're watching this a week late on YouTube, we thank you for your interest and I insist that you follow me on Twitter at Michael Packer. But other than that, that's the price of admission. So thank you for joining us. Let's uh, let's get on to today's question. From Sifted for Robin K. Why were so few AAA games shown at E3? Is it due to COVID or because they're becoming too expensive? too complicated or too time time consuming to create. Um, you know, truthfully, COVID really didn't have much of an impact on E3. I mean, it had an impact on game development, but uh, the stuff that didn't come out last year got pushed into this year, stuff like Far Cry. And, uh, you know, I don't think that that changes, you know, what Ubisoft was able to show. Um, COVID really doesn't impact what they show at the show. They can show a game, whether it's coming out this year or next year. And that that would be an example, like the Zelda unnamed game. You know, they kind of give you a glimpse of it. But in, uh, if you saw the Switch OLED, OLED announcement, they were showing the unnamed Zelda game on the screen. So clearly, you know, they can show a game whether it's ready or not. Um, you know, games like Skull and Bones, I think that was announced in 2018, or maybe 2017, shoot. But they showed it every year and they delay it every year. So it doesn't really matter if the game's delayed. It doesn't slow anybody down from showing it. No, the reason is that E3's just become less of an event for the publishers. And, you know, if a game's coming out this year, then I think they prefer to show it as late as possible. So that's EA with EA Play. Um, a lot of guys show stuff at the Tokyo Game Show and and or uh, Gamescom. It's August, September kind of time frame. Um, but, but the truth is they weren't shown because there was no requirement to have hands-on playable games. And, you know, a virtual event doesn't have an audience, you know, that's live that shows up and, and wants to stand for three hours in line to play Breath of the Wild, which is what we saw when Nintendo showed that game. Um, so truth is that because there's no demand from consumers to do hands-on at a real event at a single point, um, nobody really had to do anything. And so if, if you give, it's sort of like saying homework is voluntary and you don't have to turn it in and you don't really have to do it. Only the nerds are going to actually do it, and most people will just say, screw it, I'm sleeping in. That was E3. E3 was voluntary. You didn't have to turn it in. So, I mean, that, I can't get any more deep than that. It, it's Games are expensive, complicated, and time-consuming, but that has nothing to do with why they weren't shown at E3. Um, it isn't like they all started every game last year on November 1st, and they had to get them all ready you know, by June. It was These games have been in development for three, five years. Um, I know you guys will will not believe me because none of you are old enough to know this, but even Rockstar used to show games at E3. And the trend has moved away. Like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was shown at E3. And the trend has moved away where Rockstar started it. Screw you, E3. We're showing it when we feel like it, and you're not getting anything at E3. And what really happened was that uh, that, that hot coffee scandal for them they they flat out lied and again you guys might have all you young people that was 2005 all you young people have to look this up but but hot coffee was like a sex scene in grand theft auto and rockstar initially lied and said we didn't put it in there it was hackers and then somebody found the hidden file on a pc copy of the game that they purchased at a store and they said no 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 this isn't the original code and they were so embarrassed they haven't been doing three cents so that's really what happened um, that they were called out and they don't want to answer questions. So they, I don't even think they've had a press conference since. Um, so, you know, again, uh, things like E3 have the potential to be such a bad experience for studios that they never come again. And you fans put up with it by allowing companies like Sony to skip. Um, and when Sony skips E3, guess what? No Sony AAA games there. You know, so that's the answer, you know, that, that, it's there's no incentive for anybody to show anything until it's ready and there's no hands-on gameplay requirement and there's really no requirement anymore so you know we've got to raise that level of expectations so that everybody feels they have to be there in order to get those triple a games back at e3 and turn it back into an event so lobby hard 
your favorite game makers to be at E3 next year because they really have to be there. You know, guys, if if you really want E3 to be an event and you really want to see big hardcore triple games, lobby your favorite game makers. Hit the developers up on Twitter or any place that you follow them, any social media. Um, write letters, write emails to the PR departments at the game publishers and tell them that you want them at E3. I mean, I have to say, like, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I was down on Microsoft for pulling off the show floor and doing their own thing, but they did it in the same kind of complex. So they're all right there. I was down on EA for pulling their, their event and moving off to the Hollywood Palladium, but at least they, you know, past years held it the same week. Sony's pulled off the floor. That's just unforgivable. Get everybody back. Tell them we want a focal point. E3 is the highlight of the year. It really is. And uh, if you lobby them and you lobby Sony in particular, because you tell them they need to be there, maybe they'll come back and you can claim credit because it'll be your email or your your social media stream that convince them. Those of you out there who are creative, create a TikTok video, do like a rap video and freaking shame Sony into being back. Thanks for joining us on, uh, on Pactor Factor on sifted.net. Uh, particularly if you are a Patreon patron, thank you for your support. Thank you if you have figured out how to how to link your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account. We're getting paid by Amazon. Uh, that's great of them to support us. Thank you if you are a YouTube subscriber. And if you are neither a YouTube subscriber or a Patreon patron and you're too lame to figure out how to link your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account, at least let's have a follow on Twitter at Michael Pactor. Uh, let me know that I shamed you into following me and I will give you a, uh, a shout out on Twitter. Thanks again. See you next time.